Okay, so I'm gonna do some measurements of inrush. This is the PDU I'm using, and I just, this is connected to 220. I pulled out the black wire on the 220. This is the way they say to do it anyway. I'm using the iFlex here for this. And uh, basically it's just a matter of turning this on. Um, I've gotta do it, both of these at the same time. And uh, to get inrush, we press this button. And um, I'm going to switch these on. Okay, so that's showing 6.1. But I'm not real positive my timing was on. There's two of these damn things. And it's hard to do at the same time. I'm going to set this down. Uh, one second. Okay, so that time... Well, crap. Let's do it again. I'm going to wait for these to spin down. They have caps in them that continue to run the motor. Even after AC's been chopped, they continue to run the fan on these for 3, 4, 5 seconds sometimes. It's interesting. It's a pretty good charge in there. Okay, so we'll try this again. Yeah, so 9.3. I had a 10.9 on the last one so far. Um, now if we switch out of inrush and go to just regular amps, when they're when they're just sitting here idling, they're drawing about one amp for the four of them at 220. Maybe less. In average Man. Yeah, I think what I've I don't know on this meter yet I haven't I haven't checked but um, I think the min measurement is one amp on AC so we'll try one more time switch to inrush Got them both that time. So it's roughly right around 10, 11 amps in rush. And that dissipates right quick though. This meter measures the in rush over five cycles. So it's actually pretty decent. 